verification, the blue tick. It confirms if an account is an authentic public figure, celebrity, or global brand. And somehow, I managed to finesse myself one of these on Instagram, despite my bio literally saying, I'm the biggest catfish of 2019. Uh -uh. Let me just fix that. The biggest catfish of all time. But soon after being verified, I realized being verified is literally pointless. You don't get any new features, and Claro still won't reply to my DM. However, the other day, this happened. So the other day, I was on Tinder, and I came across this person. Now, one thing stood out to me about this girl, and no, it wasn't her face. It was this. The blue tip. I had never seen anyone on Tinder before verified. Instantly, I swiped right. I thought she was famous. However, of course, I didn't match with her. But now I'd seen it, I had to have it. I had to get verified on Tinder. So I looked into it, and it turns out it's a new feature that Tinder added. Wait, catfishing test? That sounds like a challenge. However, Tinder added this about a month ago, and literally, in that month, I've only seen one verified person. So I think it's still a very rare thing. So my plan was to get verified and fake being famous on Tinder. All right, so let's try and find out how exactly we get verified on Tinder. Verified on Tinder. Photo verification allows you to verify your profile, showing potential matches you're really you. How does it work? Open Tinder and tap the profile icon. Tinder, tap the profile icon. Tap the grey check mark by your name slash age. There, there isn't one. Select verify profile. I can't find it. How do I find it? Let's go news. Tinder is now giving out blue ticks to verify people who aren't catfishing. Wow, I wonder who caused that problem. Tinder has come up with a feature that hopes to stop people from catfishing. Blue tick. Dating app has come up with a photo verification method whereby select users will be asked to take pictures in real time. Oh, select users. They not select me. Why am I not selected? I want to be selected. I want a blue tick. It's rolling out this feature slowly for now and in smaller areas like Taiwan and Ireland. So I can't use it. How did that person have it that I saw there? Is she Irish or Taiwanese? I needed help. So I went to the only Irish person I know, my good friend Jamie Campbell. And I sent him this. Jamie, I'm doing a video right now where I try to get verified on Tinder, but it's only available in Ireland. So since you're from Ireland, can you download Tinder and see if you can get verified? And if you can, I might fly over to Ireland and try and get verified with you. Yes, you're correct. I am on the island of Ireland. However, I actually live in Northern Ireland, which technically means that I live in the UK. But give me a little sec and I'll try that out. Well, just a little update for you, George. Turns out I cannot get verified. And that is because I'm in the North. But maybe, you know, you can fly to Dublin or something like that. So Dublin it was. I packed my bags, I was ready to go. And then the government announced that the whole of the UK was on lockdown and that we can't leave our house. So I now have to get verified and fake being rich without leaving my room. So my first course of action was Twitter. I found this girl called Mel and she tweeted out, I'm verified on Tinder, where's your tick mark? Now someone replied to this saying, wait, no fair, I want to be verified. And she replied, send your Tinder profile to me and I'll get it fixed for you. This could be big. So I messaged her asking if she could get me verified. However, she just replied with pretty much what it said on the Tinder website. Well, that's great, but it's not available in the UK. So it was time for plan B. This week's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. I downloaded Surfshark VPN onto my computer, changed my location to Canada, went onto the Tinder website and it worked. It let me create a Canadian account, but I couldn't verify it because I didn't have a Canadian phone number. Now I have a phone, but it's not Canadian. So this plan was an L. But it wasn't because Surfshark VPN offers so much more. Like Netflix. Are you ever in the UK and want to watch The American The Office, but you can't because it's not on the UK Netflix? Well with Surfshark VPN you can. All you have to do is turn it on, refresh the page, and boom, America in the office. As well as loads of other American Netflix exclusive shows. And it's not just America, there are so many countries to choose from. But that's not all. It also protects you online by encrypting all the information sent by the internet. Which includes photos, passwords, video, stuff that's supposed to be private and safe. So make sure you head down to the description below and use my code George to get 85% off and three whole months for completely free. It's literally too good to say no to. But back to getting verified. I needed help from around the world. So I went to the only place I could think of. Omegle. Yes, it got to this point. Okay, right. Who's going to help me get verified on Tinder? Hello. Are you from Canada? No. Are you from Ireland? No, I'm Asian. Yeah. Are you from Indonesia? No. Oh, you're not helping. Do you have Tinder? I do. Do you have Tinder? Yeah, do they? Yeah. What? Huh? Hi, what's up? Hello. Do you have Tinder? Tinder? What is, what is Tinder? Okay, don't worry. Hello, where are you from? Philippines. Philippines. Is that Indonesia? No. Oh. Do you have Tinder in the Why? Philippines? Yeah. Are you verified? Uh, you have a blue tick? Yeah. You? Yeah. Show me. Oh. On your phone, go look up. Uh, hey. I do it is lying. Do you have Tinder? No, I don't. Damn it. Do you have Tinder? Yeah. Do you have Tinder? 
I'm from Spain. To Tinder. Do you have Tinder? Have you got Tinder? Has anyone got Tinder? Hello, how are you? Where are you from? From Sabrina. Do you have Tinder? Yeah, I have. Are you verified on Tinder? Do you have a blue tip? Yeah. Do you, do you have it on Tinder? Yeah. Let me where? see. Show me. Uh, well, f*** yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. Get me out of here. So clearly, Omegle was no help. There was only one thing left to do now. It's asked the George Mason Nation for help. We have a whole audience from around the world who could potentially help us. So I'm going to try and make the most of it. So I posted a story to my Instagram asking if anyone that followed me was verified on Tinder. And of course, to send proof because I didn't want to repeat of what happened on Omegle. Please, someone be verified. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I've just checked my Instagram DMs. And we've got one. Here's the proof. Verified. So what if maybe I ask her to make a new account and see if that new account can also be verified and if it can she gives me the new account and then i can get verified on it so i explained to her my plan and she said she'd help out so i waited for her to send the new account details and she sent them all right guys so it's the next day i've just woken up i've checked my instagram dm and the girl been messaging about helping us has sent us some account details i've made a new account here are the things all you have to do is log in with your phone please work please work please work okay so now we've got to wait for her to get a code okay right i'm putting the code in now are we in? <gasps> we're in! We're in! We're on her account! And she's verified! Yes, we did it! I'm on a verified Tinder account! This is insane! Finally! I knew I could do it! So, after weeks of trying, we had finally got our hands on a Tinder verified account! This was the best day ever! Well, that was until this happened. Uh, okay, update. She wasn't supposed to let me in her personal account. She thought she could give me her phone number to link to the new account, and then there'll be two separate accounts, but instead, it's just logged me into her personal account, which is not what she wanted. So now we're back at step one. We haven't got a verified Tinder account. I don't know if we're ever going to get a Tinder verified account. Yeah, another failed plan. Or was it? Guys, you're not going to believe this. I literally just went to the toilet, logged out of her Tinder account. Because I was like, I want her personal Tinder account. Let me log out. I logged back into mine. And look, verify your profile. What? I don't know how this happened. Maybe the fact I logged into a verified account on my phone. They're letting me be verified. Okay, I'm about to click it. Please work. Please don't be a glitch. Okay, let's click it. Verify your profile. Get verified. Prove you're the person your profile with taking two selfies. Okay, next. How it works. We'll use facial recognition technology to ensure you're the real you. We have done it. I don't know how. I'm so happy right now. Okay, let's get verified. Okay, verify me. Okay, I have to update my settings because I haven't got my camera enabled. Camera on. Okay, please... Please don't say it's gone now. Please don't say it's gone. Please still give me the option. Yeah, it was at this moment I realized I messed up. Don't say the option's gone. No, 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 please, 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 please come back. The option's gone. No, 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 this is not good. No, God. I don't believe it. I was so close. I was so close. This is the worst thing that's happened to me all week. This is the worst thing that's happened to me ever. Come back. I was so close. Only thing I can think of now is if she lets me log back into her Tinder account again and then I log out of it and then log back into my... <sighs> I was this close. Ah. Oh. So I explained to her what happened and asked if I could log in again. And she said yes. But it didn't work. Hasn't come up. <laughs> oh no. So I tried again and again and again. Literally look how many codes she got sent. And it still didn't work. At this point, I was ready to quit. Maybe I'm just not a catfish anymore. Maybe the catfishing should be left in 2019. But I can't give up. I can't let the George Mason nation down. So I made a plan. First step, we need to get a guy. Specifically a guy. And they have to be from either Canada, Indonesia, or Ireland. Or any other country that allows you to get verified on Tinder. Step two, get him to log into my Tinder. Then get him to get rid of my photos and add his photos. So it'll go from my profile to his profile, but it'll still be under the name George, and it'll still be my account, even though it looks like it's his account. Then, because where he is, he can get verified. He gets verified if it looks like it's his profile, and he puts a selfie to the verification test. It should work. Step three, I log back in, change back to my photos, and boom, I'm now verified. I've just got to hope that a guy on Instagram follows me who's also verified verified on tinder and we can get this plan into full force so i posted a story and we got a response from pablo i asked him if he wanted to help and he said he didn't want his face to be in the video so that's why i blurred it but apart from that he said yes so we arranged to do it over sky and this is how it went what i wanted to help you do i need you to log into my tinder account and see if you have the option to get it verified so i sent him my login details and he logged in is there any verification thing yeah i it looks the same as it did on my phone. So I was starting to question if he was even verified. So he logged into his to prove that he was actually verified. Yeah, I see, I see you got it. So why can't I verify your account? I don't know. Do you want to try logging one more time? Fingers crossed. Oh. Yes. Wait, wait, because it's got my photos, hasn't it? So he added his photos, ready to take the verification test, and it disappeared. I can't verify now. You can? No. How
how did I let this happen twice? So he tried logging in on his phone. Oh. But we didn't give up. Yeah, do you want to try that? And it worked. Yes, come on. Pablo took the pictures. Yes. And the verification was in review. All we could do now was wait. We just got hope now, fingers crossed, they accept you. Or me, or us. So I ended the call, and all I could do now was patiently wait. Guys, I just got a message from Pablo. Oh my gosh, I think this might be it. He said, hey bro, got some good news, and then sent me a message. Which I'm hoping is a screenshot of my verified profile. We're about to find out. Oh, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. No way, we're verified. What? We've done it. We've got verified, yes. Finally. This has been going on for like two, three, Three weeks now of just me trying to get verified time after time after time trying so many different methods we have finally done it we have catfished tinder into verifying us without verifying me. the moment of truth i'm logging in now yes i'm verified come on we have a verified tinder account yes you guys all thought i left the catfishing in 2019 but we are back catfishing again and i have somehow managed to get tinder to verify me with someone else's photos in the netherlands this is how we do it we can finally flex the Tinder verification. Thanks to the George Mason Nation. I'm telling you, if you're not already, you better join the George Mason Nation because we are taking over. And now it's time to find out if it makes a difference. Was this all worth it? Yes. I feel like my profile now needs some changes. Now I'm verified. I can't just be myself. I can literally be anyone and I'll be verified. I can literally change all my photos to George Clooney and it would look real. Well, it wouldn't because it would say he's 22. But like, I could change my photos to any famous person named George and it would look like it's actually them because it's verified. Like, this thing they brought in was to stop catfishing, but it literally just makes it worse. So the question is now, who am I going to become as a verified person? There's so many options. Why don't we just do them all? So I decided I wanted to be an Oscar award winning actor. So I became one. But that wasn't enough. So I went around my house taking more photos and most importantly, I did some Photoshop. And here was the completed profile. George, verified. I photoshopped this photo of me at the Oscars. I've got this photo of me outside the Balenciaga store, which is actually a real photo. Well, apart from the bag, I photoshopped that. I have this photo of me and Timothy Chalamet to show I have famous friends. Then there's this one of me holding my YouTube plaque, which I turned into a platinum music plaque. I'm really famous, okay? And then the bio. Yes, it's actually me. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen some of my work. I'm an Actor, singer, all-round artist. Looking for someone to spend my days with and to be my plus one to events. I'm currently living in London, but I travel a lot. My studio is in LA, so I spend a lot of time there. If I like you enough, you can come visit. I'll pay for your flight. And to top it all off, my anthem is famous by Kanye West. Of course. And the best part of it all, it was all verified. According to Tinder, this is all 100% true. So all there was to do now was to experience a week as a verified Tinder celebrity. Something started to change. Loads of people have been messaging me. There's a lot of the people that are messaging me i've messaged before in the past like literally like six months ago i sent a message saying let's be a cute couple who do cute things and plan cute dates in my defense i didn't send that message it was when i had a tinder coach and she never replied however on friday she replied it's literally been six months why are you replying now molly it happened again here with isabella my tinder coach said yes let's get out of this app on count of three that was a really weird message and she never replied until friday she said haha am i supposed to start but literally again six Six months later. So instantly, being verified was making a difference. Guys, update. So I've just gone onto Tinder and uh, we're in trouble. Someone's onto us. Pretty sure that you photoshopped your head onto the guy next to Timothy Chalamet. The first person that's messaged us has noticed. Am I that bad at Photoshop? So it's the next day. I tried to come back with defending myself. Is it not clear to you? These amateurs have badly photoshopped themselves to be me. I've had enough of your doubt. I'm the real one here who is not just real, but famous. For all I know, you're not real and you're definitely not famous. I don't like your attitude and will definitely not fly to LA now. Yeah, that should show her. That's what you get for calling me fake. She's going to realise the mistake she's made. She's going to message you back apologising. Yeah. Asking for a second chance. I bet. Um, so we got a reply. Spoiler alert, she didn't apologise. Ha 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 You are honestly pathetic. What? Me? Pathetic. I spent three weeks trying to get verified on Tinder. I spent hours photoshopping my photos to make it look like I'm famous. And you want to call me pathetic? Okay, you know what? Maybe you've got a point. But that's not gonna stop me. I put way too much work into this to let one person stop me. I'm gonna catfish Tinder and I'm gonna make them think I'm famous. Okay, so it's now the next day. I've checked my phone and my Tinder is going crazy. I used the Tinder boost thing because I got one free with my gold membership. And literally, I'm getting so many matches and so many messages. Literally, I haven't messaged any of these people. They've all messaged me first. They matched with me and decided to message me. Literally, look how many there is. None of these people are calling me out. They're all messaging me. They think I'm famous. This 
This is insane. I knew we could do it. The biggest catfish lives on. You can't stop us. You know when people say don't jinx the situation? That's exactly what I did here. Okay, update. I've just checked Tinder and we've been given a warning. Warning, we've detected inappropriate behavior that could lead to your account being banned. Oh no. What did I do? Apart from, <laughs> apart from cheating the verification system and faking being rich and famous. What did I do wrong? So I've got a slide right to acknowledge. We've only got a couple of days left. I might get banned. Fingers crossed I don't. I really don't want to get banned. <laughs> oh no. And so the week is now over. It's been seven days since I got verified and became a Tinder celebrity. And honestly, the results are mad. So before I got verified on Tinder, I've literally had Tinder for like two years. And my total number of matches before that was like 350. That's like half a person a day. However, that was when I was just me, not verified. So as I said before, at the start of this week, before I got verified, I had a total of 350 matches. And as of right now, seven days after I got verified, my total number of matches is 1,136. 1,136. That is ridiculous. I got about 830 matches in the space of a week. 830 matches in the space of a week. And from them 830 matches that we got, around 280 of them messaged me first. That's almost as many matches as I had before I started this. A lot of the people that messaged me just went straight in for the, I have no idea who you are. So I just literally made up a load of stuff. When they asked me what films I was in, I said Jumanji, Toy Story 3, The Emoji Movie. However, I'm not going to go too deep into the conversations because this video will just get too long. So what I'm going to do is, I recently made a new channel called George Mason, which is like a second channel where I upload weekly on there. Because I like to spend a lot of time on videos like this one where it takes me three weeks to get verified. However, this new second channel is a place where I can upload weekly videos. They don't require as much effort, but they're still fun videos. So I'm be doing the whole video on that second channel of the conversations I had this week. Whilst being a verified celebrity on Tinder, they go to my second channel and check that out. And the best thing about the second channel is it has comments. You can comment on it. Everyone knows this channel hasn't had comments on it for about a year. And I did a video about that on the second channel. So go check it out. But yeah, go to the second channel. Go comment on the video. Let me know what you thought. And make sure you subscribe. Because as I said, I go weekly on there. And I really want to get to 10k subs. So please subscribe. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy. As you saw, the effects of being verified on Tinder and looking like a celebrity was insane. So my advice for anyone, if you want to get a girlfriend, a boyfriend, just uh, just get famous. Because clearly, it helps you out a lot. As I said, make sure you go check out the second channel because you can't comment on this video. So go over to that video, comment on that, let me know what you thought. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been George Mason, over and out. Boom.